ChatGPT4 has just been released and let me tell you, some of the new features are quite insane. So let's go ahead and hop over to it. And only right now, currently ChatGPT is available to Plus members and at the moment it says it has a current cap of 100 messages every four hours, which ideally is probably just starting off. But here are the new updates if you upgrade to Plus, which currently is I think $20 a month. And there's a default GPT-3, legacy GPT-3.5, and then you can see the difference. So we have reasoning at 3, speeds at 5, and conciseness at 2. This one, definitely much lower. And then we can see here, reasoning is significantly higher. Speed, on the other hand, is at level 2. Conciseness is at 4. So once they can get the speed up to 5 and everything else up to 5, then it's going to be game-changing. So first thing is, let's just do a quick comparison and see what is the difference between... 3.5 and 4. So let's actually go back to the website because they have a really good visuals on what that actually is. So starting off the bat, creativity is one of the things that they've implemented. So here they actually showcase this input where it says explain the plot of Cinderella in a sentence. And the main thing is each word has to begin with the next letter in the alphabet. So it'd be A, B, C, D, E, etc. So what we can do is actually let's just try this out. Let me copy this prompt right here. Go here, paste this in, and we're starting with the default 3.5, and we'll paste this in, press enter, and let's see what 3.5 does. And for the most part, let's see A, and then it says A again, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, and it looks like it's put two A's, which I don't think it should have done that. So now, what we can do is, let's go back to new chat, switch here, GPT-4, paste this in, press enter, and this is much cleaner now because you can see it doesn't have the AA, it just says AB. And these are like micro things you might not really notice for certain prompts, but this so far seems to be much more accurate. We can see C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And let's see, E, F, G, H, I, yeah, okay, just making sure. Thought I was tripping for a second, but looks like it is significantly better in terms of creativity. Another thing that's really interesting is the visual output. It says, what can I make with these ingredients? And then it shows an image. So essentially this is reading the image and then it shows the output where it shows essentially pancakes, basically bake uh, breakfast type uh, meals based off of this, which you can see eggs, flour, I'm not even sure what that is. So it's probably like milk or something here. And that is the visual input. Now with the current updates on day one, I did not see an option for adding actual images if someone lets me know if there's another way to do it, definitely let me know. But I tried even dragging it in here, could not find that. So I guess that's just something they have on the back end that they'll release eventually. But so far, this is the current visual update that they have here. Another thing, this is kind of crazy, is the capability of handling over 25,000 words of text. That is, that is actually insane. And this cool part, it shows it says text from a link which is, I think last time I was using the GPT 3.5, I don't think it could access websites, but we can trouble check and see. And in the actual video, I believe they said 3000 was uh, GBT's 3.5's max. So let's see if it currently can do this. Cause it seems like the visual input, I'm not sure how to, I don't see any button to add images right now. So unless I'm missing something, let's go here to GPT 3.5 and let's see if this actually works. And if it's going to, it says not Super Bowl. So apparently this is still basing off of the September 2021. Let's see if GPT-4 can actually do what it says. So now it says here, I'm gonna be able to access specific real-time future events and my knowledge is limited up to 2021. So weird that it's showing this example here but apparently it's not actually accessing it. So I guess these are the things that are still aren't fully, fully released yet unless they have some sort of caps on it. Because unless I'm doing something wrong, it's supposedly not doing what I think it's supposed to be doing. So again, I even tried it too. I asked 3.5, what, what is the maximum amount of words you can handle? And last time I checked, it said 2048. But uh, let me see, I mean in a response. 
give me a specific number of words you can output per response. Now GPT-3 is just giving me, giving me problems right now. So let's try, go back, let's go to four. What is the maximum number of words you can include in a response? And if it gives me something, the response is various lengths for practical purposes used, Let's try this. What is the max? Actually, this is what I get. Write me a 25,000 word essay on food. I even misspelled ma. Let's see. Generating a 25,000 word essay exceeds the capabilities of this platform. Instead, I can provide you with an outline essay key points. What is the maximum words you can write? Stop generating. Come on, GPT-4. Supposed to be doing for response here, typically a few hundred words. So again, for my double checking last time, it said 300 to 400 on GPT uh, 3.5. So I guess these two versions right here aren't fully out yet. It seems like they're still testing it again with the 100 uh, word response or 100 messages every four hours, which is really, I mean, we already just did like, what, like 20 plus just now. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. But so far, it seems like this is the only thing that I can, at least right now, maybe tomorrow they'll have it out, who knows. But this is another thing, ChatGPT 4 surpasses ChatGPT in its advanced reasoning capabilities. So I actually tried this out earlier too, I'm not gonna waste time doing it again, but basically, it seems like it's more concise, which again, that is a uh, feature. This goes from two to four in conciseness. So here, it seems like the text-based prompts and responses, or at least to date's update is it's working to an extent. The thing that is apparently not yet is the visual and also the max word. So we'll have to wait and see unless I'm just missing something. But here's something interesting. GPT-4 outperformed ChatGPT. So it says uniform bar exam and it says currently it was at, in terms of percentiles, 10th. Now it's at 90th. And for the biology one, it is at 31st on the normal. Now it is at 99th with vision, which... I can't, I think, I think right now vision isn't out yet. That's, it has, it has to be not be out because I can't see anywhere where you'd put the actual thing. And it says the research from one, two, and three versions. They have been working on this apparently for last, since I think it was August, they said in the video, six months making it better. And this is what's interesting is GPT-4 is 82% less likely to respond to requests for disallowed content. 40% more likely to respond to factual responses. And GPT-3 more internal evaluations. So here's more safety basically built with GPT-4, which is, here is quite interesting. This is kind of game changing in sense of knowledge and also in use case. So for example, Duolingo, if you don't even know what that is, you can learn languages with it. And it's pretty famous, I've seen it, I've used it myself. And with this new AI, it seems like it's going to make it even better. And if, assuming it's accurate, guess what? Learning languages on your phone are gonna be quite interesting. Next, we have the visual capabilities. So this one's actually quite interesting, and we can check out more details on this later. GBT4 on Stripe, payment processor, and that's pretty cool there. Even more than stay using this, Kion Academy, and even the government of Iceland. And these are just more details on GBT4. So regarding the difference right now, it seems like the actual text-based responses, it seems to have more creativity, but regarding the actual the things they stated up here, unless I'm missing something or they just haven't actually fully released this yet to the public, which I would make sense, it's day one. They probably you know, wanna make sure that they can handle this. The minute this actually is visible there and also this longer content where you can actually do, I think it says capable of handling, which I don't think it means actually writing out though, which I think is different. But either way, I still copying this prompt, it didn't work at all. So I guess that is supposedly the upcoming features that they'll uh, re slowly release. But for now, at least like the reasoning, it seems like it's significantly smarter. And let's try to end off with the famous, if you saw my video before, what is nine plus 10? I did this earlier on a short I made and it actually said whatever I typed in. I said, no, it's 21. Let's see what it says. And again, it's bringing back the same response I did. So they did update this. So it looks like GPT-4 also is a little bit smarter. And it can basically is using the meme, the Nat Plus 1021, and it actually said 21 before they updated that. But this is current GPT-4. So at least today, my overall thoughts, until they release that visual input, and then also the ability to read the links, then I mean, 
we'll have to wait and see. But so far, GPT-4, quite exciting. Like and subscribe for more.